wants to bet the Vax will tear us all apart trying to fix it. What's up, guys? It's your boy, it's Professor Broman. We're hanging out, and today we're gonna talk a little bit. We're gonna talk a little bit about a thing. We'll talk a little bit about some more PVE. We're gonna talk about lost sectors. Now I know what you're thinking, Broman. The fuck? Well, let me explain. Lost sectors are a new sort of activity that you can do that has a focus on exploration in the game. But and flashpoints focus on exploration too. Isn't it awesome to have more than one thing? I love having more than one thing. If I have steak and another steak, I get two steaks. And that's better than one steak. That's awesome. So, most sectors are spots in the game where you're gonna see a hidden symbol, something, I mean, that's not that hidden. You're gonna see a hint that nearby there is something for you to explore. And when you enter these areas, much like Destiny 1, um, well, unlike Destiny 1, I should say, much like I wanted in Destiny 1, uh, you're gonna find something. It's gonna be like a little tiny crackety hole in the wall. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you're gonna walk into it and suddenly it's gonna be a massive open area filled with enemies and something for you to do. Now, this is something in my opinion that has been missing from the Destiny universe. And if you watch some of my really old videos, it was what I like to call a size and scope issue. One of the reasons Destiny 1 uh, disappointed some folks was because the size and scope of Destiny 1 didn't really match the vision and or dream of Destiny, which was, you're a fucking super mega ultra hero, you could fucking murder everybody, and you're awesome and you're a superhero and explore this great world. Oh, but by the way, like, there's not much to explore. It's just a giant loopity poople, giant loopity do and and, and that's it, like that's all you get, that, that's it. So it was, it kind of stunted the growth of the exploration experience. Lost Sectors, in my opinion, are, are an aim to resolve that. So, you're gonna be able to go into PVE, you're gonna be able to go into patrol, and not only are you going to have this flashpoint experience on specific planets, but you can have this Lost Sector experience which is going to be a, re a repeatable loot instance that you're gonna be able to sneak into and kick some ass, kill a boss, maybe solve a puzzle, and you're gonna get some loot. Now, they haven't specified the tier of loot that you're gonna get, but it's going to be valuable loot. It's gonna be something that matters. Um, again, my sincerest and, and deepest hope is that this is another way for casual players to progress. Those individuals that don't have hours on end to find a fire team, hours on end to search through all of the various things that they need to get done, um, in order to find a raid, but these are people who'll be able to just sit down, hop into patrol, run into some other guardians, and then go to a lost sector. Go to a flashpoint. I'm excited. Hopefully, these sorts of things are also going to contain some hidden lore, more storytelling, and stuff like that. I'm personally really excited for their potential. As you can tell, when it, when uh, by me, by my opinions, when things are first being released, I'm not usually one to heavily critique them. I'm, I'm one to sort of analyze potential, because I like to talk about potential instead of, you know, negative critiquing. We can, there's all the time in the world for constructive criticism later on, but right now we're looking towards the future and it's exciting. So I see flashpoints, I see lost sectors, I see awesome, cool things to explore and the potential for the casual experience, the single player destiny experience on patrol in exploration to be filled with awesome ideas. Like what the fuck is this? It looks like the vaults of glass. That sort of stuff where you find things in the world and you're like, I want to go in there. That is not, so, I, I had that experience in Destiny 1 for like a week, two weeks. And then I figured out how everything was laid out and I was like, okay, so I know the world. They're trying to drive us into understanding, memorizing, learning where this world is at, how this world functions, what's happening in Destiny 2 all the time. And I think that that is superb and I can't wait to hopefully really enjoy all of the impl implementation, I think it's gonna go really well. So there you go, guys. That's what Lost Sectors are. That's the potential inside of the Lost Sectors for all of you casual folks out there. I really, really, really enjoy the idea of having hidden secrets inside of a game. One of the most fun times I had in Destiny 1 was breaking apart all the secrets inside of, of uh, the Dreadnought, cracking the uh, codes inside of Rise of Iron, if there are tons of events like that in Destiny 2, I think we're all in for a really awesome experience, especially during that first launch month when things are sort of 
rolling out and everyone's discovering things all the time and we're all excited. I love that idea. There's potential for exotics to be hidden inside of Lost Sectors. There's potential for really top tier gear to be hidden inside of Lost Sectors. We don't know what's in there, but we know that it has potential and I think that that's really exciting. So there you go, guys. There's my thoughts slash rant slash I hate you, bro man, slash I love you, thank you, bro man, video about Lost Sectors. I'm really excited to get in there and explore with you guys. Day one, it's gonna be exciting. Thank you for hanging out, thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me you like my hair. <laughs> Funny joke, no one said that before. Or tell me you hate me. I don't give a shit. I just care that you're talking about the game that I love. That's what fucking matters. I love you guys, thanks for hanging out today. You are the absolute best community on the planet, and I will check you next time in Destiny 2. Peace, peace, and also your adorable peace.